Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jay here, back with another video for you guys. As you can see, I got a brand new tank sitting on the carpet of my bedroom, actually. Um, it's not where it's going to stay, clearly, but um, yeah, I got a brand new tank. It is a 50-gallon um, tank from PetSmart. It's the top fin brand. And um, the reason I'm showing you guys this tank is I learned a trick on them that I want to show some people that maybe don't know about it. Um, but before I show you guys, I'll just kind of give you the specs. This is a 50-gallon so it's got the same length and width of a standard 55, which is 48 inches long by 12 inches wide, but it's a little shorter. Um, it's only 16 inches deep as opposed to 21 inches um, that, the, that the 55 is. Um, so it came with you know, some standard cheapy lights. I think they're like T8, but um, it's not going to be a reef right away, so it doesn't matter right now. Um, as you can see, I've got the back glass painted. Um, I actually went with a royal blue this time instead of black like I normally use. And let me tell you, it very quickly grew on me. Um, I think once I changed the bulbs out, because these are like daylight bulbs, when I get marine bulbs that are, you know, a little bit more blue, um, I think it's going to look really, really good. Um, but basically the reason for this video is um, I was getting ready to drill the tank. You know, I was getting ready to, to drill the glass to get, put the, um, the internal overflows in. When I saw a sticker on the bottom, I'd seen it, but I didn't really read it. Um, it was right there, actually, and I tore it up. But it basically said, do not drill tempered glass. Now, if anybody's ever seen what happens when you try to drill tempered glass, it basically explodes. Um, it's kind of amusing if you watch it on YouTube, um, provided it's not your tank that's actually exploding, then it might be sad. But, um, yeah, so you can't drill tempered glass. And I knew 55s, the standard 55, is pretty much tempered glass all the way around. Most models are anyways. But this was a 50. Uh, so I basically, you know, I, I held off on drilling. I called uh, the manufacturer, but basically I got redirected to a PetSmart customer service line. And, you know, I asked him, I said, can I drill the, the top fin 50 gallon? And he basically said, no, I wouldn't recommend that. But, I mean, pretty much everybody's going to say that just so they don't get sued or something. Um, so basically I needed to figure out if the sides, if the glass, uh, you know, sides were tempered glass or not. So I'd know if it was safe or not to drill it. And no matter how many places I called, nobody could really give me a definitive answer on whether the sides were truly tempered glass. So they all said the same thing, don't drill. So, I mean, I really, really didn't want a hang on back overflow. Those things are pretty much accidents or floods waiting to happen. Um, I know some people have used them for, you know, for a long time without them failing, but it's just not a risk I was willing to take considering, you know, I'm away from my home for long periods of time and I don't want to come home to a, you know, mess of 50 gallons of salt water on my floors. So I had to figure out if the sides were tempered glass or not. And uh, I learned online there's a really simple way to tell. Um, and, you know, pretty much everybody should have these materials or they're very easy to get. The first thing you need is a laptop or some sort of LCD um, polarized screen. So, you know, there's a MacBook. And um, you also need a pair of polarized sunglasses. So, you know, a lot of these things are, the sports ones are polarized. Um, I don't know if it'll focus, but it says polarized right there. So you need to make sure the sunglasses are polarized. And um, I'll show you guys how to tell whether or not the glass is tempered or not. So give me a quick sec. Okay, so here is how to tell whether or not the glass in your tank is tempered or not. The tank is sitting on its back. So this piece of glass right here is the bottom. This is the one I know for sure is tempered. I know for a fact that it is. So I'm going to show you what it looks like through the camera, um, what tempered glass looks like. So you got your screen right here of your computer. You need to make sure it's white because white's the easiest for it to see. So then you'll take your glasses, once again, make sure they're tempered, and you'll hold them up. So right now, the screen looks dim, but it's still white, correct? When you tilt them at an angle, you'll start to see bands appear. See how it's kind of a striped pattern? That lets you know the glass has been tempered. There's a very distinct striping pattern. You go back to a parallel view, and it's just dim but white. Once again, you tilt it at a 45 degree angle, and you can see there's a definite shadowing striping pattern in the glass. That lets you know that definitely the tank is tempered on this piece, and you can't drill it. Okay, so I'll get the tank back up to normal, and I'll show you guys the sides, and we'll see whether or not together the tank is tempered or not. Okay, guys, so the tank has been... Um flipped back upright. You can see the bottom glass is now resting on the carpet again with the cross brace. Here's the blue background and the computer is now back in the tank facing the front pane of glass which is the same as the sides in the back. 
So basically what's going to happen is we're going to do the same exact test and see whether or not these pieces are tempered. If they are, you'll see the same exact striping pattern. And if not, you'll just see the screen go, or the glasses go dark looking at the screen. Okay, so we still got my polarized sunglasses. Here we go. So we got a white screen, just like last time. Looking through my polarized sunglasses, the screen is dim. When we turn this, if it's striped, once again, it's tempered. If it turns completely dark, it's not. Watch. See? There is no striping pattern. It just went completely black. Once again, it's dim, black. No striping pattern whatsoever. Pretty cool, huh? So, that means that the sides... Uh, the tank are not tempered glass, meaning they can be drilled. And to prove it, I'm going to go ahead and drill the tank for you guys. Show you that nothing happened, everything worked out. And, um, yeah, hopefully that will help people, you know, with a you know, simple but pretty effective way of telling whether or not they can drill their aquarium glass. So give me one sec. I'm not going to show you the drilling process because that takes a while. But I'll show you guys the drilled holes once they are done. Well, okay guys, so the hole has been drilled. As you can see, I still have an intact back piece of glass, so obviously it was not tempered and it was safe to drill after all. So I guess the test proved uh, correct. Um, you can see a little bit of scratching on the spray paint. I don't know what I was what I was thinking spray painting the back before I drilled, but oh well. Um, once the bulkhead's on there, you won't be able to see it. But yeah, as you can see, a nice smooth hole. No cracks or anything, and we are in business. Um, this is actually drilled for a one inch bulkhead. So here's, here's the bulkhead. Um, it's got a strainer on there right now, but um, you know, it just kind of uh, goes in like so. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I know these, these strainers right here aren't the best surface skimmers as far as getting that you know, film off the top of the water, but I was trying to take, as, take up as little room as possible inside the tank. So I'm going to go with this for right now and see how it does. And if you know I don't like how it's performing, I can always just take the strainer piece off and then you know silicone in um, an internal overflow uh, box myself. You know, preferably one with teeth cut into it already. So you know those do a really good job skimming. But as you can see, you know it just comes out the back. You screw the nut on there to tighten it up with the gasket. Um, the ga I'd actually the gasket's not on right now. I just want to show you guys how it works. But yeah. That's all there is to it. So I'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, guys, again. Um, hopefully this helps some people out. And um, if you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and put them below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, people.